Now, Boeing has begun a production of the first F-47 six-generation stealth fighter for the U.S. Air Force. Uh, this aircraft serves as a crewed element. The American President Donald Trump has awarded Boeing the contract to build the next generation air dominance fighter jet F-47. The onset of revolutions in military aviation is rarely marked by dramatic public displays. Instead, these revolutions originate in silent laboratories, months of classified work, and the inexorable drive of history demonstrating that dominance in the skies is not optional, but essential. In 2025, the results of years of investment, operational secrecy, and technological ambition became clear to the public. The announcement that Boeing had secured the U.S. Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, fighter contract was not simply the end of a long-standing industry competition. It was the unveiling of a project poised to shape the future of aerial warfare. The F-47, slated to become America's first operational sixth-generation stealth fighter, emerged from early experimental tests to the beginnings of physical assembly, signaling a pivotal moment. The implications of this selection were both immediate and consequential. As the Air Force's Chief of Staff confirmed that the first article of the F-47 was under construction, targets were set. An inaugural flight in 2028 and initial operational capability by 2029. For those in the defense community, these were more than program milestones. They were indicators that the United States intended to set the pace, not merely keep up. The F-47's development represented more than an upgrade. It was positioned as a generational leap that reaffirmed the centrality of air superiority in American defense strategy. Yet even as this announcement defined the future trajectory of U.S. air power, what distinguishes the F-47 and embeds it so centrally in the evolving doctrine of air superiority? How did this program emerge from internal competition to serve as a focal point for future strategic planning? The answers require examining the circumstances that led to this leap and the changing realities of contemporary air warfare. Forging the future the genesis of the F-47 program. The roots of Boeing's F-47 are found not in the glare of public announcements, but in the quiet experimental efforts that began in 2020. During this period, the US Air Force launched exploratory tests to define the requirements for a capability that would outpace current and potential threats. As global rivals introduced their own fifth-generation fighters, expanded anti-access-slash-area-denial-A-2-slash-AD strategies and advanced hypersonic projects, it was clear that the U.S. needed to go beyond iterative improvement. Thus, the development of NGAD became less about achieving superiority through a single advantage, such as stealth or speed, and more about building an aircraft to excel in multi-domain operations and to integrate advanced computing artificial intelligence, and synchronized network connectivity. The brief was clear. Deliver a digital nerve center for future air campaigns, a system equally adept at sensing, computing, and commanding across the complexity of the modern battle space. Years of competitive development followed, with leading defense contractors submitting their concepts, and by 2025, the Pentagon selecting Boeing to realize the NGAD vision. The contract, initially worth over $20 billion, was awarded after close consideration of the competing proposals, each aiming to anticipate the demands of the next generation of aerial conflict. This was not just a commercial contest, but a strategic commitment to preserve air power against evolving global threats. The Air Force's path was rigorous, with a series of experimental tests starting in 2020, shaping the crucial decisions to follow. During these years, new stealth configurations, propulsion ideas, 
and defensive features were evaluated, improved, or discarded. Development was driven by a need to shed previous assumptions and respond to emerging challenges, ensuring that only those ideas, technologies, and industrial capabilities with real promise moved forward. By the time Boeing began manufacturing the first F-47, the lessons of multiple generations of US fighters were apparent in the program's philosophy and practice, blending established methods with new technological approaches. The structure and processes supporting the F-47 represent the cumulative knowledge gained from decades of managing stealth, sensor fusion, and operational flexibility. Now adapted to address not just anticipated threats, but the unexpected. The F-47's design centered not only on the platform itself, but on its ability to serve as an orchestrator within a broader ecosystem, including autonomous, loyal wingman drones and advanced digital command and control tools. This system's approach reflects the changing nature of air warfare, requiring adaptability, autonomy, and robust network connectivity as fundamental requirements. The NGAD breakthrough, Boeing's selection, and its significance. The NGAD competition brought together the most experienced defense industry players, each with a history of delivering advanced combat aircraft. Boeing's proposal won out against significant rivals, including Northrop Grumman and Lockheed Martin. While many details of the competition remain classified, it is clear that design maturity, program readiness, and the potential for future technological growth played important roles in the decision. The Air Force's requirements for NGAD went beyond traditional metrics, encompassing survivability, integration with autonomous systems, and a focus on network-enabled cloud warfare. These needs reflect the evolving concept of air combat, in which the ability to receive, share, and act on information at machine speed is as valuable as low observability or extended range. The F-47's planned adaptability and open systems architecture were likely decisive in its selection. With operational environments expected to change rapidly, a fighter that can be updated with new sensors, electronic warfare tools, and digital capabilities with minimal downtime offers strategic resilience. In this arena, Aircraft are valued less as standalone platforms and more for their role as command and data nodes within a wider combat network. The shift to cloud warfare marks a new stage in the evolution of air operations. Rather than orchestrating missions through individual aircraft, the NGAD concept engages a web of assets, satellites, remote sensors, uncrewed systems, allowing the pilot and supporting AI to access and exploit information in real time. This mode of operating offers a level of situational awareness and command agility that can complicate or counter even sophisticated enemy defensive networks. Boeing's work on prior platforms and digital innovation supported this approach. The planned F-47 is not limited by the technical ceilings of earlier aircraft. Instead, its software-driven design supports iterative improvements as new operational needs are identified or as adversary capabilities evolve. The transition to manufacturing in 2025 illustrated the maturity of Boeing's approach. With production processes designed for modularity and quick upgrades, the Air Force sought to reduce risks and accelerate delivery both to meet strategic needs and to deny competitors the luxury of time to catch up. In this way, the move from experimental testing, begun in 2020, to near-term assembly was executed with deliberate speed. Manufacturing the F-47 – Modern Production and Strategic Message Commencing manufacture of the first article of the F-47 marked a significant milestone in the U.S. military aviation timeline. In major defense projects, the move from concept to prototype to true assembly is often slowed by technological, financial, or bureaucratic hurdles. Here, early risk reduction and a focus on digital engineering helped maintain program momentum. Boeing's use of state-of-the-art digital design tools and modular production practices reflects broader trends in the defense industry. In the F-47 program, every component is modeled virtually before being fabricated allowing for precise adjustments and rapid fixes when needed. 
This approach not only helps contain costs and schedules, but also prepares the program for fast integration of improvements, critical as threats and requirements change. Such production techniques also offer a strategic message to potential adversaries. The move to hardware ahead of many traditional timelines signals a commitment to closing the window for competitors to develop counter capabilities. The US intends to debut the F-47's new capabilities, while others may still be in their own research or development phases. Boeing's facility adapts to new advancements through modular assembly, supporting periodic upgrades even as manufacturing proceeds. The so-called Digital Century Series mindset, where core capabilities are refreshed as soon as practical, has shifted the focus from static platforms to ongoing evolution. As a result, the F-47 will roll out with the ability to integrate updated software and hardware with minimal disruption, potentially expanding its operational advantage over time. Strategic Implications Redefined Air Power and Global Impact With the selection and ongoing development of the F-47, the US is not merely adding another combat aircraft to its inventory. This project represents a deliberate effort to reset the terms of air power. Previous American fighters, such as the F-22 and F-35, once held clear advantages in network connectivity and stealth. But over time, competitors have begun closing the gap in select areas. NGAD seeks to open a new advantage by integrating not just technical features, but an operational concept built for continued adaptation. From the beginning, the F-47 was envisioned as a centerpiece of American doctrine. The rapid development timeline, initiated with testing in 2020, advancing through contract award and physical assembly by 2025, and aiming for first flight in 2028, contrasts with the lengthy procurement cycles of earlier eras. This compressed timeline is both a necessity and a strategic choice, aimed at maintaining relevance as global threats shift. For potential competitors, the message is clear. The United States is committed to resourcing, developing, and fielding its next-generation fighter faster than has been typical in recent decades. As assembly progresses, this lead becomes more tangible and harder to overcome, constraining the options of competitors who may still be defining their own sixth-generation projects. The precise details of the F-47's capabilities remain classified. However, the program's publicized focus on integrated sensors, networked communications, survivability improvements, and modular payloads, including both kinetic and non-kinetic tools, indicate an aircraft designed to shape future operational planning. This level of flexibility is essential for responding to rapidly shifting warfare environments. For allies, the F-47 establishes an advanced benchmark. If the US deploys the F-47 on schedule, maintaining interoperability and coalition effectiveness will require allied nations to adapt their own doctrine, force structures, and potentially acquisition and modernization cycles. Global repercussions, allies, adversaries, and adapting to change. The news of Boeing's selection and the commencement of F-47 assembly catalyzed strategic recalculation around the world. While the US has previously led with fifth-generation programs, the fielding of a new sixth-generation platform with these timelines presents a marked shift for both allies and adversaries. Potential rival states are forced to accelerate or rethink their own developments. The window to exploit emerging technologies before US fielding narrows, and major powers now anticipate an era in which catching up is no longer a reasonable expectation in the near term. For allies, the presence of the F-47 means that operational planning and tactical coordination must keep pace with the advancements the program will introduce particularly in areas such as secure data sharing, autonomous system integration, and adaptive mission planning. As American doctrine is revised with the F-47 at its center, coalition partners will likewise face pressure to innovate in how they organize, train, and equip. It is too early to state with certainty how adversaries or allies will respond in detail, but it is clear that the F-47 sets a new point of reference. 
the transition of the U.S. Air Force's core fighter capability will drive changes in war games, alliance policies, and global defense investments. The road ahead, institutional commitment, programmatic risk, and sustained superiority. The path from initial discussions in 2020 through competitive evaluation to the contract and assembly milestones in 2025 has not been without risk. Large-scale military aircraft projects are complex, and the need for secrecy and security further complicates progress. The capability gap established by the F-47 is the product of coordinated effort across defense, industry, and political leadership. Sustaining the advantage provided by NGAD will require ongoing updates in both technology and doctrine. The program's focus on modularity and open systems should support effective upgrades, but the environment will remain dynamic. Any period of clear advantage is limited by the pace at which threats, technologies, and operational practices evolve. At the same time, by beginning manufacture while many rivals remain focused on exploratory work, the US Air Force and Boeing are asserting a commitment to both speed and adaptation. The opportunity to refresh major capabilities at intervals more rapid than in previous programs is significant, as is the willingness to learn from the experience of producing and fielding the F-47. A shift of this magnitude will impact the defense landscape well beyond the United States. New forms of counter-strategy are always possible, and no technological lead is guaranteed to be permanent. However, the lesson of the F-47 is clear. Investment in next-generation capability remains a priority and sets a demanding standard for others. Conclusion A new standard in air power as the F-47 program moves from assembly to testing and eventually to operational status, it represents both a culmination and a new beginning. The NGAD competition was not simply about finding another incremental advancement, but about embedding adaptability into the core of American air power. Boeing's work, underpinned by early experimental testing and now driven forward by digital engineering and agile manufacturing, has set a new direction for the Air Force and, by extension, for the broader landscape of aerial warfare. Partners and competitors alike are now watching closely. The impact of the F-47 program is already being felt in strategic calculations around the world, prompting new investments, operational adjustments, and procurement reviews. The era of uncontested aerial superiority is being redefined not only by advances in hardware and software, but also by the strategic choices shaping their development and employment. When the F-47 takes flight for the first time in 2028, it will do so as the product of a coordinated national effort, one that has acted across industrial, military and technological domains to maintain and extend the central role of air power in national defense. The standards established by this program both in capability and in approach, will influence air power planning for years to come, demonstrating the enduring importance of sustained innovation, clear strategic purpose, and careful management of risk. The F-47 is a milestone, not only in American aviation, but in the trajectory of modern military capability. Its development, set in motion by the requirements of the current era, and shaped by lessons learned from decades of fighter operations, closes one chapter of competition and opens another focused on adaptation and resilience. As the NGAD program advances toward its scheduled milestones, the course of global air power is being set anew. The commitment to an integrated, upgradable and adaptive force guarantees that the US Air Force will remain at the forefront of technological and doctrinal evolution today and for the foreseeable future.